why this falcon isn't going down. Kefri, that's why. Lieutenant Colonel Lee, 1st Squadron, 14th Walker Regiment, reporting encountered a new ground combat vehicle during a skirmish in Sector F-22 today. Probably a support class. Yen D production by the looks of it. Attaching visuals. <laughs> Two sirens of the Troop B were defending against an advanced group of three enemy robots. A Falcon and two Scorpions. We engaged them with cryogenics, locked down one of the Scorps, and took it out of action in four seconds. No last stand modules equipped, apparently. We proceeded to target the remaining Scorpion to keep it a distance, but despite taking heavy fire, it maneuvered towards the edge of the free zone. At this point, our sirens had to reposition to avoid direct hits. As we discovered next, a robot of unidentified type followed the advance group. The robot seems to establish a link with one teammate boosting their armor, speed, and providing repairs. Otherwise, that scorpion wouldn't last that long. It also enhances their weapon system somehow. We learned that the hard way. The enemy followed up with a pair of hell burners. One of them boosted, and we lost the siren. Pilot extraction only made possible by the timely arrival of Troop A. We are clearly facing something new here. We outgun anything the mercs can throw at us in this sector. But if they deploy more supports like this, Every rusty shoots will cost us twice the usual effort. And if that robot boosts itself along with its ally, it will be dealing enough damage even with four light slots. I am requesting a reinforcement with EMPs, high tech or not. It cannot do much when its systems are jammed. I have also re-equipped one of our shells with acid throwers to deal with boosted defense. We'll try to take one of those bugs a prize when we next see them. They can't be too fast. Our recon has just zoned in on another one. Serving the defense committee. Lee out. <laughs>